What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I want to do something a little different and get away from behind my laptop and writing code. And I wanted to talk about a question that I've started to get more here on YouTube from friends of mine not in the tech space. And it's a question that I also had before joining startups and then eventually working uh, up to a larger tech company where I am now. And that question is, how on earth do software engineers end up making upwards of two, three, four, five hundred thousand, in some cases high six figures and even seven figures uh, in their compensation packages? So I wanted to break down the four, arguably five components and talk about each of them briefly for you all. So before we get started, hit that like button down below. Helps out the video and the channel a lot. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning, either way, welcome. Let's get right into it. So the first part of a software engineer's com compensation package is their salary. And this is the part that most people are obviously familiar with. Most industries have it. It's an annualized sum of money that's agreed upon before you join the company, paid either twice a month or bi-weekly, however it's set up. So we're going to take a hypothetical example and build uh, a hypothetical software engineer salary with all these uh, components I'm going to talk about as we go through them. So you can imagine a senior engineer at a good tech company has a base salary of $150,000. So that's part one. The second part of the compensation package is their performance bonus. So again, similar to a lot of companies, tech companies also pay out a performance bonus, which is generally a percentage of the engineer's base salary, oftentimes referred to as bonus eligible salary. Let's say the target bonus for our hypothetical engineer is 20%. So if they meet their performance goals, they will be given 20% of their base salary, which in this case would be 30K of 150. Uh, add them together, we're at $180,000 now. The next component, which is the component that most people are not aware of, and this is where you really rake in the big bucks, is restricted stock units, oftentimes also called equity. And this is basically straight up stock in the company you're joining given to you when you join. So it's also called on hire stock. A clarification I wanna make that a lot of people confuse with this is options. Options are the right to buy a company stock at a lower price, but you still need to buy the stock with your own money. RSUs are actual units of the stock given to you uh, as a part of your compensation package. So let's say you're working for Google and the stock price is $1,000. When you join the company and you are given the stock, let's say you're given 400 units, so 400K, if you annualize that over four years, that's another 100,000 to your gross compensation package that you can add. So we were already at 180 with our salary and our performance bonus. Now we can add another $100,000 with that stock to our bottom line. So we're sitting at $280,000 now. The fourth component of this is stock refreshers. So stock refreshers, similar to the on hire stock, is stock given to you every year. Uh, generally, there's a target for the level of seniority you're at for senior engineers and principal and staff. And part of it is given to you because of merit. And a part of it is given to you because the company wants to retain you. And if you have more of a holding in the company, you're more incentivized to stay with the company and basically do a good job at your job and uh, work as if you know, you're, you have a horse in the race. So let's say the senior engineer is also getting $100,000 every year as a refresher. So their 280 now is sitting at 380. So that was, I believe, part four. So we had salary, performance bonus, on hire stock, stock refresher. And the fifth one, is a questionable one. I don't like considering it as a part of the package because it's a one-time thing, but some people do. And that is your sign on bonus. And this is basically, as it sounds, a cash bonus that you're given when you join the company to sign. Sometimes in some company cases, it's paid over two years, um, like Amazon. And the reason people include this sometimes in their compensation package is because it might be a large amount, like $100,000, and if you break it down over four years, like the stock comes out to another 25K. So people oftentimes include it when they kind of forecast their expected 
TC, as they call it, total compensation over the course of the next four years. So we were at 380, tack on the additional 25K, and now we're sitting at $405,000. So you can see that the stock and the refresher really push up the bottom line and gross amount. The last thing, which this is the one that people overlook a lot, and I want to personally highlight it because I think it's actually worth quite a bit of money and people don't take full advantage of it or uh, value it, and that is your benefits. So think about um, stipends for the gym, food, uh, your 401 match, if you're given any other incentive program for like commuting. Um, I know some companies will do laundry. I know Facebook and Menlo Park will do haircuts. At the end of the day, all of these things cost money. And depending on where you live, it might be kind of expensive. Like your haircut in one place might be 40 bucks, in one place might be 20. And it also depends on what you want, of course. So as you add up all this stuff, let's say $10,000 in a 401 package and a match, let's say some food, uh, commuting, you're looking at another at least $15,000 every single year um, that you can straight up make. Think of something like also like a, like ESPP, an employee stock purchase plan. If you buy an employee st- or a company stock at a discount and you sell it immediately, assuming your stock doesn't totally crash, you basically can just flip a stock and make 100% guaranteed profit, not 100% profit, but 100% guaranteed profit in some amount, right? It might be a small amount, but you'll make profit. So we were sitting at 405, let's add on another $15,000 and we're at $420,000 gross amount compensation for the year. So that's how software engineers make a ton of money. Um, let's uh, review it super fast. So we had our salary, we had our performance bonus, we had our stock, we had our stock refresher, our sign-on bonus with an asterisk, and lastly, we have our benefits. So six things that we can account for a software engineer's compensation package. And yeah, if you're interested in uh, mobile development or iOS, I do a bunch of those videos here. And I'm also gonna start doing videos like these where I talk to you guys about questions you have and general tech stuff. Um, I realize there's a lot of questions that I get and uh, I think it's hopefully worthwhile for me to explain these things to you guys um, and get kind of uh, answers from true experience and not around Reddit, for example. So if you like the video, hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new for some awesome content to come. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.